Is This Polaris? Photography by F'd Up World. F'd Up World yesterday made a community post on his page uh, asking a classic question about if we see the stars moving overhead, uh, is it the, the fact that the stars are moving or is the Earth rotating underneath it? And I <laughs> compare this to the classic, you know, looking out of a train window and you say, you know, the scenery is passing by so fast and, you know, is it really the scenery that is passing by? Is it is the scenery moving? So he has had two choices, um, number one and number two. Uh, I would vote for number two. The Earth is rotating beneath us. But he included two images of uh, Polaris that uh, really got my attention. So here's the first image. And then the second image was a time lapse. And I'm thinking, you know, something is definitely not right because I know Polaris is not directly on the celestial pole, but this looked like it was too far away. Uh, so I said, why is Polaris misidentified in the second photo? And he said, it isn't. And I said, Polaris is misidentified, period. Cite your source for that photo. And uh, before he, he got back to me, I decided to do a little investigating uh, using astrometry. And I, um, I'm i not a Photoshop guy. Uh, I, I just use uh, um, Keynote. And so I uh, kind of you know, cludged my way through blurring out some of the uh, pus, uh, some of the stuff in this image, and then uploading it to astrometry.net, and having it perform an analysis. Unfortunately, it was not able to determine what these stars were. I, I think there's a little too much um, distortion in this image, uh, so it was not successful. So I decided to take the second image and uh, perform an analysis on that. Now, the first thing we can tell about this image is the celestial pole is off screen in that direction. Um, again, Polaris is not on the celestial pole, uh, but this just looked like it was too far. So what I decided to do is, is mark the ends of these star trails with different sized uh, purple or pink dots. And I was able to mark uh, about 25, no, exactly 25 dots, and then um, turned them white, faded to black, and uh, then I, I posted this to um, astrometry, and it was successful in analyzing it. And it came up with the right ascension declination and all kinds of details. And so it turns out the declination is about um, 86, uh, almost 86 and a half, 86 and a quarter uh, degrees, um, whereas you know Polaris is, is closer to 89, 89 and a half, 89 and a quarter. So I used that right ascension declination. I went to Worldwide Telescope and I found uh, the image of the stars in question. And so uh, let's do a blink test to see if this is accurate. So I'm pretty sure, you know, there's a little bit of distortion here, but I'm pretty sure this is the, this is the, the actual stars in question. And I decided to do a, another blink test, this one with the star trails one. And, uh, Let's bring in the stars and let's do a blink test. And the um, the only uh, there's just two stars on the left. They seem to be distorted, but but the other the other stars seem to be pretty pretty much dead on. In fact, there's a lot of subtlety in this uh, that you can see. So I'm 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 very confident that this is the exact uh, star in question. So I I'm a math guy and. I uh, wanted to see if I could figure out the length of the exposure just based on this time lapse and based on the right ascension declination. Uh, specifically, you know, this is around 80, 86 degrees declination, so we can kind of you know run the math with the degrees. So one thing that you can see in in astrometry is uh, there's a grid view and it gives you the right ascension, and so we have this um, you know these two these two grid lines, uh, two and a half degrees right ascension you know, basically two and a half degrees of Earth rotation uh, between those lines. And let's bring in the um, the star trails. And it looked like one of those stars um, was, you know, perfectly lined up. All right. So it looks like the photograph was about two and a half seconds of Earth rotation uh, based on based on this analysis. So I uh, did a little bit of math using the sidereal day because we want it to be, you know, Earth rotation relative to the stars. Um, and then just multiply it out by 2.5 degrees. And so I estimate that this photograph was uh, 598 and a quarter seconds. Now, uh, F'd Up World did get back to me. Uh, it turns out that he himself took these photos uh, through his own telescope, uh, which I think is really fantastic. And it was a 600 second time lapse. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty confident that, that astrometry is definitely identifying the stars accurately. 
But he asks me, why would I say it's misidentified? And I replied, uh, because it looked like Polaris had traveled quite a bit. Um, but I did give him the right ascension declination of, of the star in question that he, he called Polaris. And, but he doubled down. He said, actually, the bright star is Polaris. And I like the fact that you admit the stars are in motion. Uh, that's because I said, uh, you know, it certainly looked like, you know, it, Polaris, traveled quite a bit. And again, you know, traveled quite a bit, just like the scenery is traveling really fast outside my train window. So let's take a look uh, to see if this really, this really is Polaris using uh, WorldwideTelescope.org. So here we are at the right ascension declination of the star in question that he had called Polaris. And I'm just going to scroll out with my uh, with my mouse wheel. So here we are zooming out, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. And that at the top of the screen is Polaris. That red line is the beginning of the constellation Ursa Minor. So zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. And so here we could see you know the Little Dipper, constellation Ursa Minor, and then that plus sign, the crosshairs, that's the star um, that he had identified as, as Polaris. All right. So as always, I would like you to be kind to each other in the comments. I am definitely interested in hearing what you have to say about this, uh, this analysis. And uh, what do you think? Are the stars moving overhead or is the Earth moving underneath our feet? So hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.